Hey everybody, this is Mr. Court Lever. I just want to do a quick little um, run through of how we play GimKit because we're going to be using GimKit here for a while to try and help us practice and prepare for some of our different um, tests and exams and different studying tools that we have available for us. And GimKit is a really fun way for us to learn, but sometimes there are some different things that we have to go through to understand how it is because it's like Kahoot, but it's on steroids. So just like in Kahoot, you'll see here on the screen, it asks you a question with four answers and your goal is to choose the right answer. So here it says, who was the primary writer of the constitution? We know that this is James Madison. Now this is pretty straightforward. We get $1, fantastic, we've done it. Now we get that dollar. Once we start accumulating money, we can go to the shop. In the shop, you're going to see four different locations. Money per question, streak bonus, multiplier, and insurance. You're going to try and use those to help you along the way as you play the game. Right now, the first one that we really want to buy is the money per question, buying it for $10. Well, we don't have $10. We only have $1. So we need to go back to our questions, which you can either use the dollar sign up in the top right, or you can use the back arrow, some of these different things. We need the question, the shop. This shows you who's playing the leaderboard. And then back here brings you back to the main screen. So we will use the dollar sign to flip us back to the questions. Who was Marquis de Lafayette? He was a French general. I'm going to flow through 10 questions here to get us to uh, $10 so we can answer and we'll see what happens next. So uh, New Jersey plan was the equal to all states. What is the Mayflower Compact? It is the first agreement of self-government. Okay, so now we've gotten $10. So we go back to the shop. Money per question we see. Buy for $10. And now every question, sorry, that was loud. Every question that we get, we're going to get $5 instead of one. So in what city was the Constitution Convention held? Philadelphia, $5. Now when we build on top, we'll see how our money goes up for each question that we make more and more and more. So we get the point there of that. Now, the shop has multipliers, which just multiply your score. We also can go back and the streak bonus gives you more for every answer you get right in a row. The insurance protects you if you get it wrong. Okay, so that helps you there. But the big ones also for some of you is the power-ups. The power-ups in here um, give a lot of different things like the quad grader upgrades, the money per question, streak bonus, multiplier, and insurance all at once for one time. You can then use the reducer, the gift, the shield to protect yourself. You can use the pie to attack other players so they can't see, the blur to blur their screen, gifting them money, mega bonus multiply by five for a question. So there's lots of way for you to make more money as you go. But the key here is spend money to make more money. If you answer a thousand questions correctly at one dollar a piece, you're only going to have a thousand dollars. But if you play the game and answer a thousand questions correctly, if you ever get that far and you're using all the different upgraders and things, you can have billions and trillions of dollars along the way. So if you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me. I'll be there to help you. I'll be able, I'll be there to guide you. It's just supposed to be a really fun way to go through things. We'll play a little bit more as we go and we'll practice with it. Um, from time to time and we'll use it as a little bit of like a homework assignment as well to try and get you to a certain dollar amount which i won't set too high but also set prizes for those that get the really really high scores hey questions guys let me know as always um but yeah take care of yourselves adios